Next up is the burette. The burette is this long tube with the stopcock at the bottom. It measures about 50 mils, and uh, this is how it works. First of all, we need a, we need a stand. Uh, these are around the lab, so make sure you grab one. This is the first thing you need. The stand is basically there's a clamp on both sides if you want to, but we're just going to use the one side. So here's the clamp. You take the burette, you put it into the grooves, and then you let go, and it's held in just by the pressure of those springs. You want to bring it down so you can fit a beaker or some kind of flask underneath it. And there we go. It's about the distance you want. The stopcock, all right, if it is parallel to the ground, it is going to be closed. If it's perpendicular to the ground, it's going to be open and liquid's going to run out. So we're always going to make sure that it's closed before we start. All right, before we take any measurements at all, we're going to need two things. First of all, we're going to need a funnel so we can put it in the top because we need to fill it up and second a waste container so anything that actually does come out we don't get the the base wet it just goes right into the waste container so here's the liquid water in this case but it could be acid or base or a number of other things we're going to essentially fill up our burette keep in mind that this only holds about 50 mils so you don't want to fill up the funnel too much because then you'll have a whole mess on your hand so just be very gentle doesn't need to go all the way to zero. Some students try to get it all the way up to zero. You don't need to get to zero. You just need to fill it up so you can actually make a reading. Before we take any readings at all, we do need to make sure of one more thing. We've got water in here. We have air in the tip. So what we do is we take this out. You open it. You would usually do this over the sink, but I'm just going to do it right here. You open it up and you give it one shake. That'll get rid of any of the bubbles. You'll notice all the bubbles went out. A bubble came up and we're good to go. So now we are ready to make our initial reading. A burette reads the opposite way that a uh, graduated cylinder does. So this is 50 and this is zero. We make the reading by doing a initial volume reading and then we subtract the final volume reading. The difference, of course, is going to be how much volume we delivered to our container. So for the initial volume, I am going to read, this is zero, so we're going to count from this side. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The, the meniscus is just below 20, between 20 and 21. So 20 would be my uh, tens and ones place. And it goes down 1, 2, so it would be 20.2. And then I have to guess that last spot, 20.23. That would be my initial volume for this reading. Next, we're going to replace our waste container with a weighed graduated cylinder. And then we're going to open it up. So if I want to distribute, let's say, 10 milliliters, and I started at 20, essentially I'm going to open this burette until I get down to 30 milliliters. So whatever you want to deliver, just add that total to your initial volume, and that's where you need to make sure that you stop the, uh, well, you turn the stopcock to stop the burette from delivering the water. So that's about good. I think that's been about 7 or 8 mils. So I will turn this off. Now I will make my final volume reading. So 25, 26, 27, between 27 and 28, I would read that as 27.70. 27.70, that's the number that I would substitute in as my final. So final, 27.70, minus my initial number, and that is the volume delivered to my, uh, my beaker here on the bottom. And that's pretty much it.